we've got to warn poor old Smokey before the police get here. Yeah, not to mention the Army, the Navy, and the Marines. He's not outside his cave, dum-dum. The maybe he heard the sirens, then got scared. Let's see if Smokey's inside. Yoo-hoo! Smokey! Where are you? Hey, Smokey! Are you decent? Oh, it's Touche and Dum-Dum. For a moment there, you gave me quite a start. For heaven's sakes! What a terrible noise! An air raid! That's what we came to warn you about, Smokey. It's the police. Police? Police? Well, what on earth are they doing way out here? They're coming after you, Smokey. Me? To what on earth for? Oh, I haven't done anything wrong. I know, Smokey. But they're after you just because you're a dragon. It's against the law to be a dragon? Well, not exactly, Smokey. I gotta get a permit to be a dragon? It's a long, long story, Smokey. You wouldn't understand. Uh-oh, it's too late. The police are here. Maybe I better give myself up. No, Smokey, wait. The minute you step out of this cave, pow! Uh, what are we gonna do, Touche? I'll think of something. All right, right dragon. dragon. Come on, there with, with your, your hands, hands up. up. Hands? How can he ever see a dragon? We'll, we'll give, give you just, just three minutes, minutes dragon. dragon. Come on out, or we're coming in after you. You stay hid, Smokey. I'll go out and talk to the police. Okay, but for goodness sakes, don't start any trouble. I can't stand violence. Come on, dum-dum, let's go outside. All right, wise guy, where's the dragon? Uh, uh, dragon? Uh, what dragon? You know, the dragon the whole town's talking about. Oh, that dragon. Well, <laughs> he just stepped out. Anything I can do for you gentlemen? I'll say. Tell us where that dragon is. We don't allow dragons in our town. Oh, but this dragon is a good dragon. You know the old saying, the only good dragon is a dead dragon. Right, fellas? Right. We want the dragon. Ah, we want that dragon. Well, gentlemen, I can see you've made up your mind to get rid of the dragon. Right. So where is he? Wait. I've got a better idea. It wouldn't be sporting to turn the whole town loose on one poor dragon, would it? Well, I'm just doing my duty. Don't confuse me with facts. Well, suppose we be fair about this. Make the odds more even. Like what? Well, instead of a hundred townspeople fighting one dragon, how about one of us fighting the dragon? Well, don't look at me. I ain't no dragon fighter. I've got a wife and six kids. Okay. Then I'll fight the dragon, fair and square, right out here. Say, that's a keen idea. We'll sell tickets, put up bleachers, sell soda pop and popcorn, make a special event out of it. Then it's agreed. Tomorrow afternoon, I, Touche Turtle, and the dragon will meet on the field of honor to the finish. It's a deal. Ooh, I can hardly wait till I get back to town to spread the news. Well, so long. See you tomorrow. Uh, so long, gentlemen. They're gone at last. Uh, Smokey! Hey, Smokey, you can come out now. They're all gone. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> How'd you get rid of them? Easy. I told them that I would do battle with you myself tomorrow. Battle? Battle? Oh, good heavens to say. Do you realize what you're saying? I won't do it. I don't believe in fighting. A guy could get hurt fighting. I wouldn't think of it. If you're looking for trouble, don't look at me. I really don't like to fight. Fighting just isn't my cup of tea. I probably die of fright. When trouble starts, I'd rather run. Just run with all my might. For I find that fighting's no fun. I'd rather run than fight. Well, fighters don't live to a ripe old age And seldom die in bed In fisticuffs I'd never engage I'd rather be chicken than dead So when it comes to trouble I take off on the double My record as a fighter is zero if you strike me on the beat, I just
just turn the other cheek I'd rather be alive than be a hero I'm sure that you'll all agree That my can't make a right That's why I'd rather bleed I'd rather switch and fight I'm reluctant Quit worrying, Smokey. I know what I'm doing. Now, here's the plan. You and I are going to be... Extra! Read all about it! Touche Turtle fights Unknown Dragon! Read all about it! Hear the big news, Grandpa, about Touche fighting the dragon? Yeah, how's that, boy? I said, Grandpa, did you hear the big news about Touche Turtle fighting the fire-breathing dragon? <laughs> I gotta get my hearing aid fixed, boy. You sounded like you said Touche Turtle was gonna fight a fire-breathing dragon. <laughs> See if they got any news about the big fight on the radio, Grandpa. Well, folks, today's the big day, the fight of the century. So stand by for a blow-by-blow -blow description of the big battle. It's a beautiful day for a battle here in the hills. The crowds are beginning to gather. There's quite a festive feeling about today's big event. Folks are bringing their lunches and refreshments. Whole families are having picnics around the fighting grounds. Peanuts, popcorn, soda pop, programs, programs. You can't tell Touche Turtle from the Dragon without a program. Little youngsters are climbing high in the trees for a better view of the proceedings. The mayor and the judges are seated in the judges' stand, ready to witness this outstanding contest. Yes, it's a great day for a fight. The weather is nice, the sky is blue, the sun is shining bright. The air is crisp, I'm telling you, it's a great day for a fight. There's spectators from far and near, it really is a sight. It looks like everyone is here, it's a great day for a fight. And now the contestants appear, the dragon shows his might. The challenger is full of fear, it's a great day for a fight. So shout hooray for old Touche. Let's get this battle underway. It's a great day for a fight. So stand back, folks. Let's give them room. Let's watch this awesome sight. Let's see which fighter meets his doom. It's a great day for a fight. Yes, a lovely day for a fight. I see the networks have sent their color cameras to cover the big fight. Newsreel cameras are already turning as the moment draws closer for the two contestants to enter the arena. According to the weigh-in earlier this afternoon, the challenger, Touche Turtle, weighed in at 48 pounds, and the dragon weighed in at 48 tons. So you can see they're evenly matched. The weapons will be the usual. Touche Turtle with his little sword, uh, sword, and the dragon with his, uh, 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 fire. Well, folks, here comes the challenger, Touche Turtle, mounted on a white horse in true knighthood fashion. Hey! Go, 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 go. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. All cameras are focused on the entrance to the dragon's cave. A few wisps of smoke are billowing out of the entrance. And now, stand back, folks. We wouldn't want anybody to get hurt. To here he comes, the heavyweight champ, the dragon! <laughs> ah, the dragon looks great today. He's down to his best fighting weight, 48 tons. Not an ounce of fat. A little gristle, but not an ounce of fat. His bright green scales shining in the sun. Oh, yes, folks, it's a sight to see. Popcorn, peanuts, soda pop, programs, programs. You can't tell Touche Turtle from the dragon without a program. And now, the referee orders the fighters out in the middle of the ring. Uh, the arena. Touche is wearing a bright purple robe with a mink collar. The dragon is wearing a chartreuse robe with rhinestone buttons. It's a bit rococo, but colorful. And now... 
The contestants are ordered to go back to their corners and wait for the bell. The fighters come out into the center of the arena. <laughs> touch gloves, dear, touch hands. Uh, what happened was that Touche touched the dragon with his sword. And now, Touche, mounted on his white charger, charges the dragon. Uh oh, the dragon, showing clever footwork, sidestepped the charging Touche, and Touche is crashing into the side of the cave. Once again, Touche, mounted on his white charger, charges the dragon. Uh-oh. The dragon again sidesteps the charging Touche, sticks out his foot, and trips Touche's mount. Pray for Touche! Pray for the dragon! Well, folks, now the dragon is reared back on his hind legs, and prepares to charge Touche! And there's the bell! Ending round one. And now for a word from our sponsor, Mother McCree's Little Liver Pills for people with little livers. Are you tired of dragging around? Take Mother McCree's Little Liver Pills and feel like a dragon. And now I see the fighters are ready for round two. Once again, Touche spurs his white charger on to do battle with the fire-breathing dragon. But what's this? The reluctant dragon just sits there. Wait, wait. I can see little wisps of smoke curling out of the dragon's nose. And now, long flames are blasting out of the dragon's nostrils. Touche tries to stop his steed. But too late. <laughs> A long flame reached out and caught Touche on the seat of his pan. That's a point for the dragon. I guess he figures you have to fight fire with fire. <laughs> I always feel a little humor never hurts the city. And now they've brought a bucket of water for Touche to sit in, and the fire is about out. Touche, an old timer at this sort of thing, again mounts his white charger, picks up a long lance, and charges the dragon. <laughs> Hakey Dragon waits patiently in his corner to meet the charging Touche. Uh oh, another clever bit of strategy by the fire-breathing dragon. The dragon breathed a hot blast of fire on Touche's lance, and poof, it went up in smoke. Boy, that was a hot one. Well, fans, that's the end of round two. I can't see the judges' cards, but I had it 80 points for the dragon and 20 for Touche. But in a fight like this, anything can happen. Peanuts, popcorn, soda pop, programs, programs. You can't tell Touche Turtle from the Dragon without a program. Well, fans, here we go into round three. Again, the determined challenger, Touche, mounts his white charger, takes Lance in hand, and... But again, the Dragon just sits in his corner and gets set to meet the attack. Uh-oh, there goes the fire-breathing Dragon into action again. He shoots out a left, then a right... Long, hot flame shoots out at Touche, but the challenger ducks, and the flame hits the judge's stand. Uh-oh, it looks like the judge's stand is on fire. How about that? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, crash back up. All right, folks, don't panic. The fire department is on its way. Well, fans, it looks like there'll be a slight interruption until the fire department puts the fire out. Yeah, and we can find the judges. There. The fire is about out now. So if the spectators will kindly take their seats, we'll get on with the show. Uh, fight. Well, you've got to admit that the challenger isn't lacking in courage. Brains, yes, but not in courage. Touche again mounts his white charger and charges in for the kill. The fire-breathing dragon again waits for the challenger to attack. Touche doesn't have a chance against that fire. Yeah, but wait. What's this? There seems to be something wrong with the dragon. He huffs and puffs, but he can't breathe out any fire. I just got word from the champ's seconds what the trouble seems to be. His pilot light went out. Well, that will change the odds on this fight. Touche now has a fighting chance. And there goes the challenger, taking his lance in hand. He charges! The dragon doesn't move. He meets Touche head on. Oh, oh, oh. he's hit. The champ is wobbly. He's staggering. And down goes the dragon. Looks like the dragon is down good. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The winner and new champion is Touche! Well, fans, don't go away. I'll see if I can get the new champ over here to the mic to say a few words. Here he comes now. Congratulations, champ. <sighs> All in a day's work for a professional hero. But the dragon did put up a good fight. Hey, champ? Yes, he was cagey all right. And it's awful hard to get in close to him with that fire and all. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> well, again, congratulations, Touche. And now, fans, the crowds have left the arena. It's all over. I guess they'll have to send a bulldozer out here to remove the poor dragon. Oh, gee, Touche. Yeah, you should not have been so rough on old Smokey. Yeah, he was a good dragon. I know, Dum-Dum. Just relax. Is the crowd all gone? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there goes the last one, Touche. Uh, the radio announcer. Uh, why? Okay, Smokey. You can get up now. Gosh, thank goodness. Lying on a damp ground. I could have caught a cold. Uh, touche! Uh, Smokey's okay! He ain't, uh, uh, uh you know... Uh, uh. I know, I know, Dum-Dum. That's the way we planned the whole bit. The crowd came out to see somebody slay a dragon, and they wouldn't leave till the dragon was slayed, a uh, slew, slain. I figured this was the best way. The uh, Chief, uh, you done it again. Everything worked out perfect. But what about me? They'll be out there with the police every time some sheep herder snitches on me. Oh, I'll fix that. I can talk the mayor into building a fence around your cave here and charging 25 cents to see the real fire-breathing dragon. The town will become famous, and everybody's happy. <laughs> Everybody but me. How'd you like to sit here all day and listen to stupid tourists say, Look at the dragon, look at the dragon, look at the dragon. Yes, it is quite a drag, isn't it? <laughs> Breathing fire. 